must watch. I must watch. What happened? Nothing. Something. I don't remember. I must have had a nap. Nothing. I've been living here for a long time. I must watch. If anything happens, I must... I like birds. There used to be so many of them here. I like birds and collecting things. You would be surprised at how many useful things I can find. I don't remember how long. I don't remember why, but I must watch. Here, take a look at this. I found it all just a while ago. All this stuff. It's from the Simpsons camper. The blue butterfly pendant is in the picture, too. It belongs to Becky's mother. It was mine once, but I don't remember why I thought it was valuable. You can keep it. This souvenir shop doesn't seem to be selling souvenirs. License plates? Car keys? Air fresheners? What does this mean?
this should put the bear into a nice deep sleep. One wouldn't find better evidence of what happened here. Now to find new batteries and see what happens next. The precipice of the broken stairway is too high. Maybe I can think of a different way to cross the valley.
The raven has dispersed into air. This is my chance to get across the valley unnoticed. It's Whitmarsh. He summons and controls that monstrous fog raven. A perfect guest, detective. This is our common foe. And no doubt the one who makes people disappear is also responsible for the whole atrocity here. Who is he? Come closer to the slit in the door, and I'll tell you what you want to know. The remains of numerous cars are up there, and of those who once owned them. It's hard not to associate this evidence with the bodies, and the Simpson family's possessions are also there. That ticket seller lady stands there on guard. I don't, I don't remember, remember why, why, but I, I must, must watch. watch. She doesn't seem to be in her right mind. She didn't even remember giving me the ticket. Then again, she could be acting. Is she in on it, or a victim playing the role unwillingly? If there's a role she plays, the question is, what is it? Is there anything you'd like to ask me? You said you would tell me more about our enemy. The one who kidnapped that family is the one who imprisoned me here. And the one whose story I tell. You've challenged no mere man, Detective. Whitmarsh, as he calls himself now, possesses skills you may consider unnatural. You've already witnessed some of them. Yes, the foggy beast is but an emanation of his power. Search his manor. There have to be secret chambers where he keeps his victims. Be careful, though. Minions of the Raven keep their eyes wide open all the time. Here, take this. I hope you'll find it useful in your search. Numerous corpses packed in barrels. What did you call it? Oh yeah, a larger mystery. Really? Dozens of old corpses. A shocking view indeed. I must admit, when I led you through the maze, I hoped you'd find them. What a skilled detective you are. Why? Because this really makes one aware of how serious this case is. As I warned you when we first met, this place is not what it seems. The victims you seek are not the first ones, and if you don't act quickly, they will not be the last. You've stumbled on the tip. I will help you uncover the iceberg.
Thank you, detective. As promised, I will tell you the story of your foe. Beware, though, for it reaches far into the past, beyond belief and imagination. In the beginning, there were twelve reapers, ancient spirits of the cruelest and foulest ilk. Through their dark rituals, they would spread evil, despair, and death. Their atrocious deeds were not aimless, though. They summoned and served their High Lord, Archdemon Cosmic, the strongest and most powerful being of the pits of hell, who wreaked havoc through the world, bringing terror and destruction. Each time you bring another relief piece, I will tell you more. And, by the way, here's another artifact. I hope you'll find it handy. In reward, Osmo granted his worshippers unnatural skills by casting part of his own life force into their hearts. He gave them strength, power, and above all, the gift of immortality. You mentioned the name. Asmodai, in the story you started telling me, did you say Archdemon? Who is it? How come you know all this? Perennial Sophia, Detective. I'm an old man. According to ancient beliefs, Asmodai is the king of demons, a fearsome and most powerful being, the essence of evil, the wielder of corruption. But it's just mythology. Demons don't exist in this world. And monsters like the one you saw don't either? There may be more truth in the old legends and beliefs than you think. Asmodai. Soon you will learn how deep the bond between him and our enemy is.
the note. When we link this with people disappearing along with their cars, we start to see the bigger picture. If there is a serial killer here, he might have a special place where he kills his victims. You can't be sure of this, but it's worth checking out. If it's true, then the Simpsons must be kept somewhere near. Indeed. So the most obvious question is, where is it? The tragedy of the world of old went on. Village after village fell victim to the wrath of Asmodai and his dreadful minions. In fear of the hellish horde, terrified and defenseless people prayed to God for help. And it came to pass that the Lord heard their call and sent down the mighty archangel Raphael to stand against powerful evil. Where am I? Ah, uh, looks like I lost a few of my heavier tools. Something tells me this wasn't our last meeting. <laughs> 